Hello everybody, welcome to a Tuesday night standard, an absolutely nonsense Tuesday night standard tonight because I secretly went and played all the way through gold without you guys. Um, because I want to, I want to hit mythic before the end of the month. And I realized that, uh, one, one level per week is not going to cut it. So I decided to skip ahead a little bit and do a bit of extra work. So that's pretty neat. Um, I've once again adjusted my setup. So, um, please, please let me know how you're going and whether you can hear me verbally. All right. This is, this is your, your chance to shine. Yeah, no, no, I've, I keep forgetting that there's a delay, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if, if you can hear me in the, uh, in the, the chat, please say something, 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 anybody, somebody, anybody streamy, streamy, stream, stream, checking it out, checking it out. It's not quite six o'clock. I did uh, tell everybody I wasn't going to start till six o'clock. Um, but, uh, you can hear me loud and clear. Fantastic. That is awesome. You can sort of almost see through my Batman cup, but you can slightly see that it's a Batman cup. It's really cool. So, of course, because I have set up a whole new, um, a whole new thing again, there's a, um, a, like a whole different layout. There's a couple more things I need to test. Firstly, can you hear the music in the background there? You can hear the 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 chirping of the crickets. Because um, I'm sick of wearing headphones, so I've now got a sound bar across the bottom of the screens. Uh, it's quite a nice setup. I'm very, very uh, happy with how how the layout works. Um, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to keep messing around with um, with with headphones because it's uh, I don't know. It heats my head up. It makes me feel too hot, too warm. So that's a thing. Um, so just just making sure that you guys are in the right uh, the right spot with the uh, with the chat. Can you please tell me if you can hear the magic in the background? That would be wonderful. Um, if you if you are not able to tell me, that is a okay. So we've got a couple of cool things here. Remember, I think last time on Saturday I was cracking packs for you guys, um, uh, which was a lot of fun. Um, well, I've, uh, I've messed around with the setup again, because that's what I do. Um, we've got this little setup. Oh, look at that. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, this is pretty neat. We're, we've got a, like, a little inset with uh, the ability to win, win some prizes. Remember, these, these are oh, awesome. So you can hear them. Fantastic. Thank you, Sam, for keeping me in the loop. Um, yeah, so we've, uh, we've got some, uh, some cool stuff here, obviously it's, um, it's very, uh, uh, sort of haphazard the way we set things up here. Um, but yeah, no, I'm very, very happy with, um, with how this goes. I'm just gonna, you can't wait to roast my gameplay, mate. You were there when I made platinum. Does that work? Is that a few less, a few less shadows? Eh, whatever, whatever. So what I was going to do first was actually um, uh, crack a few packs. I was going to crack a, a pre-release pack. So we have these pre-release packs at the front here. Look, I can just reach in. I just reach in. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, uh, Bandit, uh, you've been doing pretty average lately, so you can roast my gameplay all you like. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, packs. Let's let's crack some packs. So this is um, this is a quite a quite a neat little um, little setup. So let's um, let's crack a pre-release pack just to kick things off tonight. Um, put that there. Hopefully that is uh, close enough for you guys to see. Might not be, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll uh, we'll get there. Um, so what have we got here? Let's uh, let's get this baby open. This is a pre-release pack for Ikoria. Uh, it has proven to be quite the enjoyable set for cracking packs. It is um, it is full of goodies. There's uh, there's all sorts of cool old art cards in there, uh, as well as some other stuff. I got uh, you. Let me crack a pre-release if you can crack one. Well, there may be a chance to win one later tonight. 
Oh, I got the green dice. So uh, it's the invisible dice because we've got a green screen going. Um, so I'll just uh, put that there. You can see right, right through my eyeball. Look at that. Johnny, no eyeball. That's me. Um, all right. So what do we get? The first card that we got on the the uh, promo card here, the the foil with the date stamped on it. Does this work? Does this work? It is. I look like a Bond villain. I am a Bond villain, mate. They call me Shuffles McGillicuddy. That's, um... Uh, was that a mum pick me up? I'm scared. <laughs> what? Who is that? That's, uh, that's crazy. Um, yeah, Kahira is, uh, is a terrible card for terrible people. Uh, it's a companion card that uh, each creature card in the starting deck is a cat, elemental, nightmare, dinosaur, or beast card, and basically acts as a lord for them. Oh, it's Aiden. <laughs> Aiden, how you doing, bro? Welcome to the stream. We're having a little bit of fun. Yes, Panda, it is an awesome card, but only for terrible people. I'm saying that because Bandit's in the in the room and he's uh, uh, deserves to. <laughs> it goes, does go well in group group fights, doesn't it? Um, so. Uh, let's uh, let's have a look at pack number one. It's um, kicking off, kicking off tonight. We've got some prizes for those who uh, are local and can come pick them up, or organise someone to come pick them up. All right. So what have we got here? Uh, the first rare that we've pulled is Snapdax. Oop, no, Snapdax is dead. He fell off. He's gone. Snapdax, there you go. Stay on the thingo. There we go. Snapdax. We could probably, it's not foil, no. No, if it was a foil Snapdax, I probably wouldn't have thrown it on the ground. Uh, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a regular regular card. So it's a regular, not all regular cards. It's a 10% um, market value. <laughs> Well, see, the lucky thing is it landed, A, on a carpet rug, but also, B, in a pile of, uh, of, of cables. So there is absolutely zero damage to this. Um, but uh, it's also probably going in my personal collection. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the next one. We want to we wanna see what the next rare is that we pull out of this pack. We have... Da, 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 da. This is the exciting bit, me flipping flipping through. Oh, so we have... Um, a Volpicate. Stay. So that's a common alt art. Oh, yeah, boy. And we, uh, we just pulled a Dirge Bat. Full art extended border. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, apart from that, there doesn't seem to be much else uh, crazy going on in there. Oh, uh, actually, um, I'll, uh, I'll, sell, I'll tell you, I've got, I got a Kraken token. Uh, but I'm going to just readjust this so that it's a bit closer. I think we can we can get away with a bit more of a zoom here, hey? It is a bit of a, a test at the moment. Um, but yeah, we got a we got a Kraken token. Yeah, because we're Kraken packs. We are Kraken packs. It does look awesome. It's uh, all it's all fantastic. It's all amazing. This is uh, a little bit wonky, um, but getting this light down here to it's all it's all a bit of a all a bit of a test. This setup. Uh, we'll see how we go. All right, next pack. Next pack. Trial and. <laughs> Mate, you got to keep the, the foul language to uh, after 9 p.m. Because um, remember, I record these. I haven't, I haven't gotten around to just fixing it so that there's a, a filter on it, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll just rely on you guys to behave yourselves, yeah? Um, all right, next rare is an Everquill Phoenix. I do like this card, and I would very much like to see some sort of modern Phoenix tribal going on with this. Um, it would be pretty neat. It would be very, very neat. But um, yeah, it'll... Uh, Get, um, 
get a bit of work with uh, that uh, token that it drops, you know, to, to pull out other Phoenixes, even though Phoenixes generally have their own way of getting back in. Pack number four, what is the rare? Well, firstly, we have an uncommon full art, the parcel beast. This is a sick one. I love it. A very cool looking card. Uh, and then we also have uh, Obosh the Prey Piercer. Uh, as uh, people might know, I've been using an Obosh, um, uh, an Obosh sack deck to, to do most of my stuff. Uh, I'll let you in on a secret. It's not the one that I use to get to Platinum. Uh, for those who have just tuned in, I sneakily did gold uh, on, I think it was Saturday night, while I was watching Bandit uh, play v v vaguely above average on, um, on the Red Bull Untapped. I'm just paying you out because you're in the room. I, I promise I don't do it behind your back. Um, and uh, we also got a foil wilt here, which I won't worry about on the, on the thing, but... Uh, it's, uh, it's always good to find these little foil commons because if you put together like a brawl deck or whatever and you want to foil it out, um, it's good to have a hold of those ones to, to fill it, pick, pick it up. Um, favorite card on Arena right now is Obosh. Is that, uh, is that what you're saying? Also, what is So Wowoims? How do I pronounce that? Yeah, so like I, I've, been, I've been hammering that one on Arena. It's been just above, above average. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, right. That's not including all the drops that people did. All right, pack number five. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Uh, nothing in the alt art way. We've pulled a... Ooh-wee. Uh, we got uh, a Colossification. Yeah. And we got a Foil Cavern Risperer Full Art. That is really cool looking. That is really cool looking. Um, our uh, store champion, champion Brayden, uh, actually came in the other day and had a look at that card, not the, the foil one. Um, but he, he was like, Oi, it's really hard to look at things that have more than two eyes, hey? And then I looked at it and I'm like, oh, actually, that's a really icky thing. But that is that does kick butt. That is a phenomenal card. I love that. We have one more pack to pull. One more pack to pull. Dooby dooby doob up wow. Let's see what happens when we crack this pack. And we've got no no oh, this is actually this is actually really low return for a, a pre release pack, to be honest. Normally we're pulling like three or four of the old arts, like no no problems, we've got like two or three here. So we pulled a Kogla, the Titan Ape, aka King Kong, uh, which is pretty neat. And uh in the um in the rare slot we uh, in the sorry foil slot we got a an exuberant wolf bear, not bad, not bad. So that's it. That's uh that's uh the first uh, pre-release pack that we're cracking tonight. Um, keep an eye out for. Oh, there we go. We got, we got that feather token I was talking about. For bringing back um bringing back phoenixes, phoenix eye, phoenix has like it's like octopus. Um, returning phoenixes to the battlefield. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, sweet. So let's uh, let's get some uh, arena going, hey? Let's um, let's switch over to our arena overlay, and um, and get a little bit of gameplay kicking on. Yeah. So that's gonna bring in some. We say Sour Worms was your old SoundCloud rapper name in high school. <laughs> so, are you trying to imply that you were a SoundCloud rapper, or was it some sort of some sort of joke? It's like just playing around, just being pretend. Playing Golgari. I'll tell you what. Well, look, we're at Plat, right? We're at um, we're we're at Platinum, and we're going to have a smash on uh, with our. Um, what do we call it? Uh, Jeskai Fires. Because Jeskai Fires got me here, so we'll have a bit more of a hit with it. Um, but, uh, yeah. A legit thing for fun with mates. Yeah, so, like, here's a here's a secret. Uh, I used to rap quite regularly. We used to go to a, um, an event called Siphon Saturdays um, in Sydney where we would freestyle and, um, and get a bit rowdy. It was really, really cool. Um, knew quite a few people in the Sydney hip-hop scene. I used to write for a website called ozhiphop.com. 
Uh, it was good fun. They got to do some cool stuff. I got to go to a gig in uh, the Enmore Theatre, which was like the launch of Earth Boys. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Spit Shine, I think the album was. And um, yeah, it was mad. We I got to go in the uh, in the photo pit at the front of the stage, and I was, I was it was my first time ever doing anything like that at a gig. And uh, there was this guy called I think his name was Justice. I think for legitimate, this guy's name was Justice. And yeah, he was in there. He sort of like um, chucked a, um, a, a couple of lenses my way um, that attached to my camera that I'd borrowed off my dad. And um, yeah, I ended up taking some really sick photos. And um, yeah, they got they got used at the, um, at the for promo. I was pretty stoked. It was um, it was good fun. Good fun. I'm Batman. I'm not really Batman. I'm just drinking from a Batman mug. Ten points if you can guess what's in it. It's cola. Because I'm boring. All right. All righty. Let's uh, let's have a go at this, right? So this is this is the, my new setup. This is my new thing. I've got three monitors. I've set them to surround or whatever. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if this is going to be super, super functional for me, but we'll, we'll have a go. I'm playing windowed mode uh, and I've put it over here so that you can see my sick tat while I'm playing. It's, uh, it's a pretty neat trick. Um, but yeah, look, let's just jump straight into standard. It's uh, standard rank best of one because I love the coin flip. I love the coin flip. Who goes first? They win. That's uh, not, not true. But we'll um, we'll see how we go here, right? Um, what was the the deck that you've been using most uh, most recently, Bandit? It was Gruel Fires, wasn't it? Alright, <laughs> this is an awful hand, but I got the Sphinx of Foresight, so we know we can sort of like filter for um for a, a land like a fast land as opposed to a slow land. Um, yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Like we're, we're at the bottom of plat right now, so we can play Reckless. We're not going anywhere lower than this. This is, uh, we're, we're cut. Um, okay, so I've got a Godless Shrine there. I've already got a Fires Invention in my hand. I don't need that. Uh, so I'll we'll put that at the bottom. And, um, uh, we can put that, uh, yeah, we'll put that there, because we don't need it until the fourth turn to kick everything off. Yeah, sweet. So, yeah, I did it. You're playing Tima tonight. Tima Fires, obviously, because Fires is the only deck left in standard. Um, uh, we're going to need a blue sooner rather than later, so we'll chuck out a Rogren Tram in turn one. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Uh, they've played a Fable Passage, so I'm going to get a read on this and say that it is 100% Jeskai Fires. Outright. Luca Fires. Um, let's just drop another Rogren Trio and uh, hold on to the Mystical Dispute, ready to ready to counter their fires, and then we'll play ours. So if um, oh the planes, oh that's uh, actually another Fable Passage. What is going on here, mate? Is this modern? You and your fetch lands, buddy. Um. Yep, now. I think I think I think we're good now. I don't see anything crazy being played at this turn. And we're good with the Bone Crusher Giant to remove whatever comes out, so I'm um, not not so unhappy here. End of turn. Uh, he's gonna fail the passage, he'll bring out another planes, I guess. He's, maybe I'm just uh telegraphing because he's got the um the Johnny uh, avatar there. Uh, yeah, resolve. Sorry, 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 mate. Sorry, sorry. There's a sorry button. Uh, oops. All right. Uh, cycling. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Well, yeah, true. I. I mean, I. I, I sleep my. Ooh, feather. Okay, so. So. Oh, I just got booed by my wife. She scared me. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that cannot be. Oh, I, yike. I should have just disputed it. No, I can't. I couldn't have. I couldn't have. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Um, but it is going to leave 
my mana open for Fires of Invention. So I'm I'm going to be playing Fires this turn, and I'm going to. I'm going to definitely be able to play the Sphinx of Foresight to start chomping it. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, that's a, that puts me in a good spot. Good spot. So, Godless Shrine, pay to life. Uh, Fires of Invention, can't be counted, can't be anything. And then the... Oh, or do I Teferi to put it back in his hand? If he's playing Feather, he's going to have removal. So, that's not going to really help me at all at this point. So I'll put this here. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? And then um, hopefully we uh, hopefully we draw something fantastic. Domri's ambush. Oh, what a move! Sweet, that was good fun. I'm glad you did that. Uh, yeah, sweet. And now we've got the five mana that we need. So we can, um, we can Kenrith and then Karuga, uh, or do we Karuga and hopefully draw a Cavalier and play that? No, that's, that's too risky. So we'll, we'll drop the Kenrith, uh, we'll do it at the ultimate cost because then we can start get, we can basically get back all the life that they just took from us, from us there. No problems. Uh, play the Karuga at turn two. Uh, as our second spell today. Um, we'll get two draws off that, so two cards will come out. We will then Kenrith to Tiger play against five life. I'll give that to myself. And hopefully the auto has left uh, one red mana for us. Beautiful. And then we will uh, we'll give everything Trample and Haste. And then we will swing for the hills. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is really good. That's actually not a bad little play. That's why I like fires. It's, um, especially like Kenrith. Like I, I, when I saw Kenrith, I was like, what a card. That's a, uh, that's crazy. I hope it gets some play in like commander or something. And then it turns out it's like a key part of this, uh, this Jeskai fires deck that just, it rips when it goes. So you're an eight health now, mate. You're an eight. Eight. Long time nerd, first time MTG. That's uh, that's good. I mean, like Magic: The Gathering is a really great. It, it is really good game. Uh, there's a reason it's been around for so long, and a reason it gets so much um, support. So, um, yeah. So we'll, um, yeah, we'll just end turn. It's uh. Excellent. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So what are you doing? Domri's ambushing the Kenrith because you're a you're a nice guy. Um, so what is the what is the go here? It's uh, resolve. Oh, so it's deals damage equal to. Yeah. All right. We probably should have returned it with the Teferi. But he's going to lose all the value by doing that next turn anyway. So I'm going to play the Teferi next turn. Um, and, uh, ooh. Ooh. I've got a Deafening Clarion, which is largely useless. Um, although, I mean, Clarion Bone Crusher. Not enough. That's three and two, isn't it? Dang. All right, so it's going to be uh, Hallowed Fountain tapped, and it's tapped. Uh, it's going to be Teferi. Uh, what's he doing? Making it... What's... Uh, what's... God, what card is that? Resolve, yeah. Uh, target creature control gets protection from the color of... Your choice until end of turn. Um, so, do we? Yeah, let's use the mystical dispute on that. Can we? Can we? Can't? Can't we? Um, on God's willing. Wait. 
Try and protect the long term value that you got. So, yeah, return up to one creature, artifact, or whatever to its owner's hand. Let's, let's put the feather back. Let's try this. All attack. Data learn in a lifetime to master. And takes all your money to still love it anyway. That's so on point. That is so on point. Look at that. We got a win. So that means we got one space. This is where things get a little bit grindier. But that's this is why I like best of one is because we can actually smash through a whole bunch of the rank uh, uh, in a, a, a shorter time. So, ooh, what are we up to? We got anything cool? No, let's go to game two. Let's go to game two. You can hear my wife pottering around in the background. Pottering. Oh. She, she thought I said clobbering around in the background. <laughs> ah, terrible. Invisible can. Oh, this guy's name is Toad. You can see it through my head. All right. Um. <laughs> what is that? What is that? That is nothing. That is. That is. <sighs> Full send it, run it. Yeah, right. <laughs> no. Uh, that's heaps better. That is so much better. We can get rid of one of those Bone Crusher Giants. So that's... Uh, that was heaps better. But what an opening hand. That was awful. Um, and we get to trick out our hand. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We'll, ooh, another Bone Crusher? Um, knowing that the other one is at the bottom of the deck, I might keep that because having two removals is comfy. Uh, but we also have three lands. So... Uh, we'll put the faster land in, drop this one to the bottom, and go from there. And my wife is standing there looking expectant. Not not expecting, just expectant. What are you after? No, the microphone is on. Would you like me to turn it off, wife? So my wife just didn't want to, uh, <laughs> Anthony says, hi wife. Um, uh, my wife just didn't want to explain what dinner was going to have, what was I going to have for dinner. Oh, uh, yeah, enters taps. Probably should have actually put that in untapped so we could bone crush or whatever comes out next time. Nope, that's definitely not happening. We are up against a... Yumori um, Mutate deck. This is I've, been, I've beaten this before quite comfortably, but unfortunately the Bone Crusher just becomes useless because all the Mutate creatures have three toughness. Um, so we're going to have to wait until we've got a full... Um, uh, that one? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> well, she even had to ask. <laughs> um, enters tapped and we just grin and bear it next turn because next turn we can fires and sphinx to chump block something and then we can double bone crusher giant to get rid of whatever comes out because all they're going to do is just keep keep uh, m mutating this thing and then like eventually we'll kill it and get rid of all the value that they've built up uh, fibbly thip, go home. Fibbly thip, fibbly thip, fibbly thip. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, oh yeah, blah, 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 I know this. I know this, you guys should know this, it's been a few weeks. Um, cool. Uh, yeah. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. Alright, it's my turn. 
Okay, so the question here is, what are we going to, like, this is actually now leaning very hard in the direction of not being so great for us, because they've got a very wide board, and I don't think we can make ours that wide that quickly, so, um, I, like, I'm almost half tempted, we're going to pay the two life so we can at least get out the fires, um, stick to the plan, fires and then sphinx, I think, maybe, um, we'll get life back with the Kunaros, but it's going to die, straight up against most attacks so um i'm gonna tell all the things but at least uh, at least punch back with a bit of verb so uh all right let's fires while we're clean to do so i really don't trust the blue and green deck um and then i guess we're just gonna speak for free hmm Hopefully we get a land next turn too, because then we can Karuda. Um, that's painful. Auspicious Starrick's alternate art. So, I mean, like, as discussed, we were going to chump with this guy. Wow, that's a bit of a punch. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Don't like how this is going to work out. Let's um. We can't we can't have two Kunaros out, so it could be Kunaros Bone Crusher and just like chomp to the remove remove. That's ten damage. No, so that's definitely not happening. So it has to be Kunaros, and it has to be a Bone Crusher Giant. Um. And then we just gotta hope for the best. Like they've got a lot going on here. Oh great. <laughs> yeah, great. Um and good game. There he is. Absolutely zero to do there. We're gone. We're out. Orange. That's what I say to that. Total boring. Man. Man. Unhappy. Let's give it another let's give it another swing. Yes, I will keep that. We've got three turns to draw a, a faster land. Um, anything would do, because Fable Passage just plays off of any land, so that's fine. Uh, Cavalier of Flame, handy. Kenrith, handy. Sphinx, handy. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we'll submit that. We will, yes, please, check and see whether I've got a good land coming up. We will put this... Ooh, uh... Steam, mm, steam vents. We've already got a fires handy, so we don't need that. Uh, Fable passage. We like gonna keep it. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. We're gonna keep it because our first, our first uh, fires play will be strings of foresight. So we've, we've got that covered, All right? Um, the Fable passage as a sack land is super good for. Uh, dropping lands into the graveyard for when the Cavalier of Flame potentially dies. So sort of like a, a backup. We've got something that we can uh, get a bit of value out of, out of the death of a, um, a Cav. So that's cool. I like doing that. Uh, raw Green, Triome. Um, yep, do that. Yep, okay. So we can sort of get a rough idea of what this guy's up to now. Uh, he's played that at the end of my... Uh, in his turn, actually. Um, uh, her turn, their turn. Flummelsh. Flummelsh. Uh, Flummelsh's turn. 
Uh, is my voice okay balanced against the audio of the game? Please let me know. Uh, yes. Uh, enters tap. We don't have anything else to cast, so that's a thing. Got to be a little bit wary of counters here, especially like um, Mystic Snakes or whatever the heck they are. Uh, Stone Coil. No, uh, what's the what's the card? The, the blue green. Elysian Caryatid. Not a huge play here, to be honest. Um, there's no one mana counter, so you've given me the fires, so that's that's good. That's always good. Uh, having a definite clarion handy is also always good. Uh, so, we're going to bring in Fatal Passage. We're going to crack it for... Uh, let me see, we don't need black for anything specific, do we? We need white for the life for Kenrith, but I think that's in there. So I'm going to... Yeah, we'll put that in. May have been a miss, miss picked one, but we've got a... Another Fable Passage handy for next turn. So, Fires of Invention comes out unimpeded um, due to the lack of counter there. And then the Sphinx of Foresight comes out for free. And uh, it should be good. It should be good. I, I'm, I'm feeling a bit better about this game than we did the last one. Uh, we've got to poke their owl a bit. Take that, owl. Jack. Stupid owl. Up, up, up that way. Yeah. Uh, you say yom, yom yom snossages. Uh, you didn't spell yum or sausages correctly, Alan. This is a concern. Song of creation. Okay. I mean, that's a, like, a card draw engine. Um, uh, I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. I... Like, that's, that's cool. That's like, that's cool. I'm still a bit lost as to what's going on here. They claim the firstborn in their own stuff? Okay, okay, that's um that's rather clever. They've they've filled their hand, so like they they've they've claimed the firstborn on their own creature, which means you take control of that creature, untap it, give it haste. The Elysian carry out it is giving it is putting two mana into the pool at the moment. Um each time. This is uh This is interesting. Um, what's that other thing it's got? Haste. Like, is this, is this going to help them in the long term, or have they just overdrawn their hand? They don't have, like, a reliquary tower out or anything, so it's not like, uh, um, they have an infinite hand size, do they? Um. I mean, I like, I like your moxie, mate, but I'm about to drop a Cavalier of Flame and, um... Yeah, draw a card. Sweet. You've got one mana or whatever. Uh, are you able to keep... Like, is that all of your claim the first one? That's three of them. So, what are you digging for that you don't have any mana for? This is a wacky way of, like, self-milling. Um, self Maybe cast or draw two cards. And you have your end step. Discard your hand. It's just gonna drop everything in the in the graveyard. But uh, what's that card that uh, if you play it and then you have nothing in your? How many mana is that? And can he play it off of two green? So this is interesting. It's very neat. It's a very cool deck. I do like a, a stupid trick deck like this, um, especially when I didn't expect it. Honestly thought we were going to be playing some sort of stupid uh, 
blue green flash nonsense. Um, imagine the concede though, like, <laughs> like it's reaching the point of uh, of using the timer. So yeah, I mean, like I can I can imagine like two or three win cons that could come out of this. Bandit, you still in the room or you started your own stream? Are you familiar with this deck? Have you come across it yet? Brazen Borrower? Ah, right, cool, whatever, whatever. I don't even like you anyway. There you go, so that's it. The Thatcher's Oracle, it comes out. It's uh, top X cards, X is Devotion to Blue. He's got one card left, and then if he's got no cards at the end of his turn, I lose based on him. Yeah, so it was it was always going to be that. That's um, that is is a thing. Yeah, so so Thassa's Oracle. When you play it, it's basically a self mill card. So if you play it and you've got no cards in hand or whatever, um or you got no cards in your deck, you automatically win the game. So uh, it only happens when you play it and you've got to draw like half your deck or something like that. It's got to, I don't know, I can't remember the exact wording. But yeah, obviously that was um, that was rather, rather quick. And probably if I knew what I was up against, I would be putting all of my removal in so that there's no chance that they can do that uh, based on the, the creatures. Um, but because it's a uh, best of one, I don't really have many options. I just gotta like ride through it. All right, so let's, uh, let's go again. Just got fires. An alt win con in your commander deck. It is always a bit of a thing when you when you know that you're gonna um, uh, play through your entire deck in commander. Hmm. I mean, like like the the self mill is is a thing. Like it's it's not there's not a whole lot of magic being played to be honest. Uh, we got a Sphinx, we got four lands, we got a Fires, we're good, keep seven. And then we use the Sphinx to find the goodies, make sure we stack the top of the deck in a positive way for ourselves. We don't need the Fires, we don't need the Island, we do need the Kenrith, so that's good. And it's going to do a little bit of action for us. Sweet, we start off with, uh, let's say, a Satellite Tree on. Which of the precons has some cool Sultai controlly stuff? Um, would it potentially be the what, what colours is Sultai again? I don't remember. It's like blue, green, and black. Blue, green, and black. Um, I don't know if there is a direct Sultai deck at the moment. Maybe I don't know. I don't get uh, I don't get time to sit and think, so I don't I don't know half this stuff. Uh, we're going to pay the two life, so that we have a little bit of work here on their turn. The Jinx. We want to, they've got a sack deck, so we want to we want to force them to sack before they've got the card that they want. They play a land. They probably play a Mayhem Devil. Uh, yeah, sweet. Um, this is expected at this stage. I know this deck very well, so I'm uh, a very I've got a I've got a bit of action here. Um, I'll tell you what a neat trick could be, and this is because this has happened to me a bunch of times, and I'm stupid. Uh, if, if you target their their mayhem devil with a spell, they just sort of instinctively sack it to the witch's oven to <laughs> to um to protect value. Okay, so we have. Yeah, we have nothing going on right now. Uh, but we do know that they have no combos to, uh, like, uh, protect against the... I think their deck's going to be a bit slower than ours here, to be honest. I think. I think. Ah, with Ayara. Okay. So it's a, it's a, this is this is a new to the build for me. I'm not uh, I'm not used to using AR. I, I feel like it might be a bit slow to do this at this particular juncture. I 
and they didn't play land, so that means we're quite likely playing against a dead hand. We've we've now got the uh, edge on that Obosh because it's not going to come out on curve. Uh, we'll take the three happily. I've got two cameras, so I can get that life back quite easily. Um, all right, so my turn, my turn. We didn't. I oh know we, so we didn't. <laughs> I was worried. Uh, I'll play the fires. Fires is a nice, comfortable card to get out at this particular stage. And then we will deafening clarion for free because that will wipe their board. They'll get a food token out of it. Hooray! Yep. Sweet. Question is, will they play a land? Will we get the land that we're looking for? That's the important question. We will. We'll get the land that we're looking for. So, we have the option here to just outright remove their knight with uh, Bone Crusher Giant. Um, but they've got a cold and familiar combo sitting there right away. They still haven't drawn a land. So the cold and familiar is loses a little bit of value if we've got a blocker out. So we might go remove with the bone crusher on the night of the Evan Legion before that gets carried away. Oh, I've just I'm, I've got some food being delivered to me. Yes, please. It's hot, so I can just leave it there for a moment. Oh, and I've got to stir the cheese in, apparently. This is, um, it's going to be good. It's a, it's a, a cheesy concoction of vegetables and meat. Yeah, yum, 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 yum. And mashed taters. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to enjoy the heck out of that. Uh, cheese and everything. Taters. Uh, so the witch is ovening it away. So that's okay by me. Um, and then we'll Kenrith... For free and then we will probably trigger a chump block uh, block sack uh, if we were to well firstly we'll give ourselves five life because that's what we need to do to stay edgy in this game and then we'll may as well because uh, he's gonna do it anyway actually no we'll leave, we'll leave him as a blocker um, we're not gonna get any damage through so we might as well just leave that Wife is the best. You... When, oh, uh, that was before 10 o'clock, wasn't it, Alan? I was at the shop buying a third monitor. <laughs> That's what I did. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So, Call of the Death Dweller. Um, not used to seeing that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, um, not 100% used to that, but... We can um, we can find ways to to ruin that, this uh, this play. Just gonna eat on stream. Sorry. Hmm. Yum yum yum. Okay. Little does he know, I've got another one. Sent to tapped. We'll um. Do we do the? Yeah, we'll drop the Kenrith now because we can do the five life again and just gain our edge back. Um, but we'll also be able to Karuga off the back of this and get, draw two cards. So that'll like playing another Kenrith is just gonna annoy them and to no end. If you don't hit on stream, are you even a streamer? That is true. That is a hundred percent true. It is rude as all get up, but. Fun and it's tasty. Yum yum yum. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> That's it. That's my wife cackling at my misfortune. Mm, nice and hot, like a cauldron cat straight out of the witch's oven. So you're doing one damage um, to that target. Let's uh, gain five life off of it then. We probably should anyway.
and uh, resolve. So I made him double with death dodge. It was a little bit rude. Hmm. All right, just slow everything down a bit. We can um, we can make our way through. They got the sack combo. So it's easy thing. Putting creatures out is is largely pointless at this at this time. So. I might actually hold on because uh, it's going to sack the Woe Strider to make another thing. Mm. Ah, let's go to combat. Whatever. End turn. Bone Crusher Giant is a nice card. I would like some three damage removal though. That would be really sweet. I just to keep getting tripped up. Well, the two damage is nice. Oh, hi, it's Loris. Loris of the Green Den. This is getting away from us, eh? Hey? This is, um... Um, so Anthony says the purpose of having a significant other is so that they can calculate our misfortune. So right. This is amazing. Holy crap. This is like the cheesiest, tastiest, mashiest thing ever. A bubble and squeak on steroids. Yeah. This has now become a, a, a Watch Mitch Eat Arena uh, stream. I'm not saying... I don't have a sweeper in here. Like, normally... Normally this deck is just all about getting to the point of having your, your fires and dropping the two cards and then just swinging in like a, like a champion. I like this uh, this build of um, Sack, though. So, I might have, have a bit of a... I dig into that later and see what happens. But uh, yeah, look, I mean, putting anything out at the moment, they're just going to sack that Woe Strider into uh, moving in. Uh, ugh. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. But we're dead next turn if we don't do this, so. Mitch eat the gathering. <laughs> That's it. I'm num num. The problem with streaming at dinner time is you don't really get to, get to do any of this. Hmm. Yep. And he's got death touch, so everything just dies. Sick removal, bro. That's, uh, that's good. I mean, we probably should have had Kuren Rods out ages ago. But you can still death touch it to, to, to death, so... Yep, just remove my Kuren Rods. That's alright. I didn't want it anyway. Didn't even bring out the eyewash. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's um, it's a it's cool because like that. Uh, what do you call it? They call it the Death Dweller. You basically want you to lose your Mayhem Devil, which I didn't sort of read before because I'm used to my build of the deck, which doesn't have that that call of the Death Dweller in. So, yeah, I walked right into it, but. That's a learning process. We're in platinum. 
Good. Hmm. This is gonna be lethal. I'm gonna let you have it, mate. I'm gonna watch you. Well done. Good game. All off the back of a single witch's oven, too. Hmm. This is nasty. I'm very glad, though, to be seeing some newer decks that I haven't um, haven't come across before. So, um, it's better than just Yorian after Yorian after Yorian, which is um, how things tend to sort of play out at the moment. Um, let me see here. Alright, we'll use one more go. And then maybe we'll try one of our other decks to see what we've, uh, what we've got here. <laughs> it's so rude to be eating on stream. But this is so tasty that I legitimately just do not care. Three lands, a fires of invention, a deafening clarion, good. Kunoros, good. Kenrith, good. I like it. I like this hand. I'm very glad we kept that definite clarity. Very glad. Plan to get some mono red. The recipe is um, up to Sean. That is that is not my job. Well, I feel like the most accurate way to make this meal again is just to get mashed potato, veggies, and cheese. and a meat of your choice and then just smash it all together hmm good times near the Savai Trio we're gonna take a big whack of damage here. but it's okay Oh mate, oh mate, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, that you're about to lose all of your creatures. <laughs> Rakdos aggro. Let's get that fourth land out there. We'll take the two damage. We'll play the fires. And we will... Kunaros. So that we can chump lock and get a bit of life back. This is playing it right down to the line. Kamadu. So I'm going to take two from that, three from that. Oh, yikes. And then this to block. Um, no land. No land. All I needed was a fifth land and I had this one. That's no good. That's sad. <laughs> Thank you very much for dinner, wife. It was wonderful. Well, I'm getting thumped at platinum. I'm not even, not even doing even half good. Um, so... Not even doing half good. We'll cast this one with the ultimate cost. We will send something back to their hand. The... The cavalcade? <laughs> I don't know. All of it. None of it helps. I got one life. So we'll put the cavalcade back because it's... Uh, actually, no. Uh, cancel. We want to... Send back the, the tour brand because it's the most um, the most mana in the next thing. thing. Found a land, play the Kenrith, drop the Kenrith for free. Oh, we might just.
scrape this back very, very barely. Um, gain five life so that we survive the next turn. Leave Kenrith there for a chump block. Big fat. Um, nom, 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 nom. Nope. Did he just... Did he just... Wow! Wow! I was on one life. And he saw that happening. He was like, he was, that was, wow. Wow. Yeah, I won. I was on one life. I didn't do any damage to them, but they saw me pull it back from the brink. They got scared. So I'm going to explain this to Sean so that you can, uh, uh, so that everyone on the, the, the thing can see what happened. So basically, I dropped the Kenrith. I gave myself life back. I had... The thing about a red... Okay. The thing about a red deck, a mono red deck especially, is that you've got like high high damage, quick damage, but you don't have longevity. You drop cards, you use them. Once they're gone, you don't really have anything. You don't have like a stable board state in red, really. You're just chucking stuff out there to do as much damage as quickly as possible. And you're trying to make that as efficient as possible. In this particular scenario, uh, my player, my, my opponent was one damage off killing me, uh, and I managed to drop, like the, like the next turn they would have been able to drop the Torbrand, do three damage, and then I would have chump blocked with the um, Kenrith. And then on my turn, I had my Fires of Invention out, so I just do crazy stuff. Yeah, so I hear what you're saying about that touch of longevity, but honestly, honestly, like you gotta live, you gotta live wild, you gotta live by the by the seat of your pants. Um, regularly scheduled seven o'clock break, guys. I'm gonna go and have a quick break. Um, it's been it's been wild so far, and by wild I mean like we've been smashed a bunch of times, um, but that's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, look. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to. Eh, Make sure that's uh, it's nice and comfortable. Gigity. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave you with BR Bob, and um, we'll be back very soon. Make sure you guys have a chat in the meantime, because I've got some competition-y stuff coming up after the break. Bob Daddy and Bob Baby.
We're just having a quick break and we'll be back very soon.
Flicked him. <laughs> mm. All right. We are back. We are back. After that, absolutely scorching victory against that guy. <laughs> oh, dear. Mini Bob. You want, you want mini BRB tokens? We can see if we can make up some mini BRB, mini BRB tokens. We could, we could definitely do that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, where are we at? Where are we at? Let's um, let's have another smash. Heard on the grapevine that the Riggs wants to fight play me. That might happen a bit later. We could uh, we could possibly sort that out. Fantasis. All right. Um, we got the, the, the Sphinx. We've got three lands. We've got two calves. I, I like two calves. Um, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, we can definitely play into the Teferi on turn three. So that's not a problem. And the Sphinx will help us find that um, that Spires of Invention. Um, like, wow, what kind of card is Spires of Invention? It's a bit of a warper, isn't it? So it's definitely had a, a whole lot of... Um, uh, a whole lot of effect on the metagame. So, um, so many different decks that uh, can work with fires. All right, let's submit that. We'll look for our fires of invention. Oh, we don't need that. Ooh, I like it. I like it, but like, we really need that fire sooner rather than later. So we'll just start. Uh, we keep, we keep, keep Kenrath. We keep Kenrath. At the top there, and hopefully in the next two cards that we draw, we'll find a fires. Uh, meanwhile, Rogren Trian comes out. Comes out tapped. We've got the first turn. It is best of one. Kind of okay at magic. I don't know if you saw that uh, that that scoop from the last game. That was brutal. That was that was sheer brutality. <laughs> Bandit, you got to link me your deck, and I'll um, I'll put it together for best of one, and we'll see if we see if we, um, we do a bit bit better after the next game off your off the back of your gruel. Oh great! Yeah, we're playing we're playing the cycling deck, so prepare for Zenith. Like they're not even they're not even playing that Dranus Singer out. Um. I don't know if they have direct removal, but literally we're only playing this so that we can uh, draw another card and find that fires next turn. Um, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flick is your gruel list. I'll see if I can. Uh, I'll see if I can take it through plat. As of two seconds ago, you offered coaching. This is going to cost me money. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so it was zero. Uh, so it's be zero. Sorry. So we've got the four lands we need, and then hopefully, I mean, like, fingers crossed, touch wood, uh, we get that, um... Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Um, we, yeah, we're basically just trying to push into draw at this stage. Pathetic reunion, yeah, that's it. Another Teferi, so we will play the Godless Shrine in tapped, enter tapped, and we will play another Teferi. Um, yes, and we'll keep I am not this keep one. that guy, and we will submit zero and draw another car. An island that didn't help, but it does mean the next turn we can uh, we can hard cast the Kenrith, I think, um, which you know isn't isn't super ideal, but you know. Flourishing Fox. Oh, that's going to do nothing. He's, he's playing off two mana. I mean, we we just need the fires. We've, we've gone through like 10 cards already. Oh, we can remove that now. <laughs> we'll do that. Um, so we'll, we'll drop that and we will cast the Bone Crusher Giant. Removing the Flourishing Fox off the top. And 
and then uh, playing the here we go, the Kuranos of the Bone Crusher Giant. The, the, what's a 4-3 and a 3-3 three, three with Vigilance, Life Link, and a whole bunch of other nonsense? Um, we'll drop the Kunaros and we'll tick up the, um, the, the Teferi. I mean, like, this doesn't help you at all, mate. Oh, I just guess you're going to do it end of turn anyway. There we go. Let's, um, let's bust that open in Google Chrome. And uh, after this match, we'll, 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 we'll best of one with your deck, hey? How's that sound? Um... Mate, I want to make this deck in real life. Um, tick this guy up. Here we go. Uh, what do you got in the... Sorry, I'm getting distracted by your deck. We'll, um, we'll, just, we'll just outright build it in a second. Let's see how we go. Um, so, where are we? Where are we? Cast, discard two cards. And, uh... What draws us cards at this stage? Um... The Sphinx will help us scry cards. Um... We could cast the Bone Crusher uh, alone. No, so we br bring that in. Enters tapped, and we will pop the Kenrith out. No, the Sphinx out, so we can scry, so we can start finding that that fires. Um, very much want to drop a double Cavalier of Flame on one turn. That would be really beautiful. Um, that's more like it. And then attack with the Kunaros because it is a Vigilance with Life Link, which is quite a pretty little play. Oh, there's your fires. Ah, so it's like a cycling fires deck. I'm not sure if I've played this one specifically. Um, why? I'd like the. Is it really value to have in two fires? That's bizarre. I don't know. Put that down there. And another Teferi. So we'll... Like... Get rid of that. <laughs> Alright. We get rid of that. And draw a card. And we will play the other Teferi. And then we'll tick him down to move the, remove the other one. Two Deathling Clarions sitting out here. And we'll play the Bonecrusher Giant for, for added value this turn. This is, um... We're, we're, we're Fires of Invention here without Fires of Invention. He's a... Boon of the wish giver. Boon of the wish itcher. A massive thumb is a real boon to an itcher. <laughs> you can hear my wife uh, quoting Mighty Boosh in the background there. Um, do that thing. Fires of Invention. Well done. You did a fires and you're going to play the other fires because it's boring. Because we've got lethal on the board. I think we're going to walk through this. This is, um... A mole, Greg! What, Bailey? What did he Zenith Flare? I forgot what that creature was. That was the... The... Kuranos. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Do we keep this? Um... We've got lethal on the board. He's got no blockers. Um... Let's just skip past it, and... I know we don't have Lethal on the board, we've got 18. What's going on here? Oh no, wife is showing off her steps on her, on her thing, so... That's terrible. Um, so, definitely Clarion for lifelink. Leaving... 3 mana. Or we Kenrith. Because we've got another one to sit in there, waiting to go. 
Um, give creatures trample and haste, and then tick you up because uh, that's you know a thing. This all attack. might be a bad idea. Uh, that's an awful lot of damage that you're going to have to try and work through. Um, yeah, the the mighty boost needs to be washed by everywhere. Everyone, I mean, like it is so good. Repeated reverb just went to the graveyard from something. Sure. Is that enough for lethal? It is. Oh. Nope. I got thumped. Wow. Oofed. Yeah, that is a big oofed. Wow. Wow, that was, um... Zenith Flare is, um, a bit of a card, isn't it? Like, it's just so easy to fill your graveyard with, with things, and then repeated reverberation to, like... Where is the funeral being held? I don't know, because they just, they just, um... They just pumped me. That was, that was brutal. Alright, let's, uh, let's go to the deck building thing, and we'll build this gruel, big dumb gruel, okay, here are a companion deck. And uh, let's see how we go. Um, I, I am a big fan of Gruul in general. I think it's uh, like aggressive big creatures is just is just fun. So um, let's give this a smash. Uh, we will create a deck. We will call it... Um, where are we? Uh, it's for standard. And uh, it is... Uh, where's the name? Here it is. Bigger dumb grueler. <laughs> Bigger dumber grueler? Is that even going to fit? It is too. Alright, so. Uh, little looks at it here. We've got two Vivians. Uh, two Vivian Monsters Advocate. We will put those two in. One, two. Uh, we're going to have to switch that for not collected as well so that we can build the cards. Um, oh, look at those. Sorry. I can just import it. Where's the, where's the, uh, where's the import to the list? Uh, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Do I, do I copy the... Import the list. Where's the import button? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Um... I always forget that computers have technology. Under the image of cards, it says copy to MTGA clipboard. Um, uh, where is that? The image of cards on your street. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So if I was to just um, uh, remove, 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 how do I? Do this 20 times. I'm actually I'm actually just gonna sit here and do this 20 times just to mess with you. Look at that. <laughs> that's probably that's probably an easier way to do this. Oh yeah, 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 I'll exit this. I just wanna finish this little mission that I've started. Alright, so go back. Is that done? Uh okay. Save and exit anyway, uh, and then delete whatever that was. Bigger, dumber, grueler. Nope, 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 nope. Where is... Oh, you get delete, there you go. The layout has just changed on, my, on me, I'm not used to it. Um, okay, so we... Uh, copy to clipboard, MTGA. Copy to clipboard, okay. And then we go import, and... Uh, Deck successfully imported from clipboard. Edit deck. And what is missing here? What are we... So 60 out of 60 cards. We want to change it to bigger, dumber, gorilla. <laughs> bigger, dumber, gorilla. <laughs> it is about you. But, uh, I've named it after you. Um, we will uh, apply styles. I've got an awful lot of uh, styles going on here. That's pretty cool. Uh, now the Kahira is that. Um, do we do we have a companion here? What was the? Yeah, so from the sideboard to the companion slot. So uh, that that Kahira here. 
Um, and that's better. Okay, cool. So that's um, that's the thing. Are we able to play with... Because it's cat beast, so it doesn't turn itself off. Yeah, sweet. So that's what we're playing with here, is it? Um, to close that. Um, yeah, all right. That looks... Um, that looks like a goer. Sweet. Done and done. Uh, contact... Oh, yeah. Uh, cancel. Uh, craft all. Four rare, one mythic rare. Oh, I wonder if I have that. Do I have that? I think I might. <laughs> Alright. Done and done. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's um, let's have a bit of a, a, a best of one smash with this bigger, dumber grueler. Um, now look, I'm gonna embarrass myself pretty hard playing this because I'm not uh, not super used to this deck, but I am very used to doing stupid things in regards to ramp and stomp. So uh, we will um, bigger, dumber grueler. There's where you don't comp MTG. You also keep swearing. I keep asking you not to swear. Please don't. Uh, I do record this for the YouTubes. Um, so, um, I'll, I'll uh, get someone to do a filter on that. Someone, someone who knows what they're doing. Um, uh, someone who knows what they're doing when it comes to setting up um, Twitch properly can come and just mess around with my settings and stuff. Um, BRB. Uh, Alright, um, what do we got here? We've got two cards here. We've, we need more lands than this, I think. We're not going to be casting anything in a hurry, so we're going to be not even doing that. Um, by an absolute mile. Now, that's like way more lands than I actually want. We've got an Arboreal Grazer, so we can get them out pretty quickly. So we'll keep that. Uh, we'll put the... Um, what am I looking at here? I like uh, Questing Beasts I like. Fires I like. Uh, our boreal grazer I like, so we have to get rid of a land, I guess, uh, and then hope we draw into one. But also knowing we've got the lands and the arboreal grazer, is just it's just pleasant. But the fires of vengeance doesn't do anything without. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of a forest. I think um, I think we we're, we're likely to draw into something over the first few turns here. We've got the Kahira as well, so uh, we've got things to play. Um, and we just pulled another card, so that's that's cool. We'll um. Uh, it's a, just a land card. Sweet. We'll drop the forest and we'll drop the arboreal grazer. And the arboreal grazer will come out with... Oh, Saralano. Oh, you champion. Thank you for the idiot. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll put a land card onto the battlefield. We'll put out the Bonners on Clave. Um, just get that out there and ready to go. Banned. Banned as I was a... It was um, a, a user that's like, Would you want to be famous? Do you want to like, you know, Valiant Rescuer, eh? Uh, so we're looking at a cycling deck uh, that plays Loras. So I think I've played against this deck a bunch of times. Um, Temple, take the scry. What, right now? Take the scry. I was, I was, uh, oh yeah, of course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking. Wasn't even thinking. It'll take me a few games to get the hang of this, but we'll get there. Um, I'm going to put Kahira out, I guess. Uh, what is he? He's a beast, so... Yeah? I'm going to play Kahira. Um, just playing as efficient as possible here, I think. And then uh, I'll attack with our Boreal Grazer. I'll happily trade with that Valiant Rescuer, mate. Hmm... Two Valiant Rescuers, and this is going to be a bit rough. What do we have in the way of sweepers here? Just looking at the list. Um, nothing in the... Nothing in the main board. Um, yeah, boy. So we'll play that. We'll play the Fires, and then we'll play the Questing Beasts. Um, now, I haven't actually ever played... Oh, oh, I got I just got handed some custard, so the game's over now. We can quit. Um, so to the opponent, just win. <laughs> just win. I like that strategy. Uh, out comes the questing base for the ultimate cost. Um Vigilance Death Touch Haste. Combat damage can't be prevented. Uh, deals that much damage to touch a plague block of that place, blah blah blah. 
It can't be blocked by creatures of power two or less. So it can be blocked, but uh, at this particular stage, we're going to hold on to you because I don't want to trade you out, but you can't be killed by a single block. So uh, we'll keep the Kahira back. Don't want to lose it to a Valiant Rescuer. Meanwhile, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of filthy damage there, so they're gonna they're gonna double double block that uh, quest in base. Oh, they just quit! <laughs> oh, I love this deck already. And we got custard. And this is like this is super unprofessional. I'm wearing my good game shirt, and I'm eating on stream. Mate, we're gonna we're gonna hit diamond in 15 minutes, 20 minutes at most. Describe taste. It tastes a little bit um, custody. You charge five bucks per win. Three lands, a cav, a shifty, an arboreal grazer. Um. I don't like not having the fires handy off the bat. Is it just four fires in here, right? Um, it looks grey. I think it because uh, yeah, because it's uh, it's been picked up by the green screen. It actually looks green and mushy. Gross. <laughs> I promise. I promise it's yellow. All right, we're out. Um, let's keep it because I'm an idiot and I don't want to think right now because I'm eating custard. <laughs> Grazer into Scryland where I unfollow. Okay. Just for you. Uh, do, we, do we do the Fable, fable Passage? Or... And what are we scrying for? Do we need this? Do we? What, what are we seeing them play? They got a... I'm going to place them at the bottom because I want to find that fires. I got a Questing Beast, aka the Auto Win. It does, hey. Ooh. <laughs> Alright. Um, we don't have anything to cast for three mana, so I can drop the Stompicles out with... Um... Oh, no, we do have. Like, I keep forgetting about the Kahira. We play the two life, we'll drop the Kahira. Now, the Birth of, Birth of Melodus uh, deck. What is this one? I can't remember. It's like... It's like a... I've seen this in Yorian, but... Never didn't have it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, slow playing at a fatal passage, mate. It's uh, you've got it when I know you've got a plane in your hand. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hmm. No. Um. So give me a second, guys. Um, all right, question, question, question is that, <laughs> it must hurt, it must hurt, I mean, like, I'm going to Fable Passage, obviously, um, just to get the, the, thin, thin the deck a little bit now that I know I've got the land handy, um, and, I don't know, what do we, what do we got? Mountains or forests? Um... And we've got blue, so let's let's uh, shifty. I oh, would just chuck that out. Why not? Like I would, I would quite happily put the shifty out there because they've got blue in the deck. So mountain, so I can cast cav. Yeah, I've got like oh yeah, actually fair call. Oh my god, what a dumb play! <sighs> I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm not attacking with the Kiera. I'm gonna take with everything. Whatever. Whatever. Let's uh let's swing it all by. What's uh what's happening on yeah, alright. I mean like 
Here we go, Doom Foretold. It's, um... Sacrifice an online non-token permanent. If they can't, they discard a card, they lose their life, etc. Okay, so, um... That would be the Arboreal Grazer for, for True. And, um... Then we will... Forests... And, uh... What was, have we got anything with Trample at this particular point? Uh, drop the... The Quartzwood Crusher, I think. Because we want to start doing as much damage as we can next turn, so... Um, we will attack with both... Um... Yep, attack with both. Mountain so I can cut cast cav i should i honestly i should have read that i like that's uh that's dumb i feel i feel like an idiot but i am in fact an idiot um and then this time i mean keep pumping permanents out. I'm just trying to figure out whether I drop the um, whether I drop the Kahira or the because there's a Kahira in the main board, right? So I can get it back. Now, I've only been playing Magic since I was 8 years old. I really should be doing way better than this. <laughs> Yeah, like it, 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 it is a thing. Like it's once you once you get into the swing of it. I mean, I was saying before that just guy flies is very much an autopilot deck. Um, this guy is going to try and wear us down through sheer um, birth of Melodus. <laughs> it's just constantly playing birth of Melodus. Doom foretold. What are we going to sack here? It is the Kahira. It's. Oh, I'm getting told to, to pick up rubbish. Is there another one of those by any chance? Yes. Sorry. Yes, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, please. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll get rid of that Kahira. Why did I think about that twice? Um, there is my extra land. We will pay the two life so that we can get the cab out now. Um, yeah. It's, uh, oh, no, it's, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Rubbish night. You're missing out on the fun. We'll get rid of one of these shifties. I don't think there's anything we particularly want or need at this point. We just got to keep on swinging into him with this craziness. Um, he's got the trample, doesn't he? Uh, we just got to start. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Let's um, let's get rid of one of the shifties. I want to hold on to the other one for fun, for posterity. Uh, all attack for sure. going to block it. I'm going to get a 2-2 two, two out of this. I think that's how this works. Um, or not. Uh, done. What are you sacking? So the obvious play here. Oh, you sod. Well. Well. I got my juice. And I got my custard. I got another custard, guys. This is good. So, is it two cards? They discard a card. So, I discard the shifty. To draw another shifty, sure. Um, now, the Cavalier can come out and attack uh, to kill the thing. Their Doom Foretold is gone, so that's not a problem anymore. Uh, Shifty's not going to help. But, yeah, so if the Cav... Uh, 
Um, I don't want to get rid of that and draw land. That would be super annoying. But they probably have another Doom Foretold in hand. Yep. Lame. Lame. This is super annoying without the fires. Super annoying without the fires. So... Yep, all right. Cool, so one, two, three, one, two, three. That's annoying. Um, just gonna play this out. I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna feed the doom foretold until I can be guaranteed to get something out with haste. Hoot, hoot. Okay, so that's the thing. Let's uh, let's ditch the shifting. Oh, sh what was I thinking? Is it thrashing bronzed on? Had we could have got rid of that doom foretold just off the bat. Oh, I'm not thinking straight. Um. Well, I am definitely going to uh, thrash. Uh, like, I want the mountain out so that I can. Oh, hold on to it. Oh, they got something to discard. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to thrash that off because that's just going to cause, cause me all sorts of issues later on. Um, yeah, I do not want any more of those. Yeah, this is not. I'm not doing great. Like I, I could have played this way better, but I am. I am playing a little bit blind here. I've got the list over here on monitor number three. Uh, <laughs> oh really? How many of those do you have in the top thirty cards here? Yeah, this is, uh, this is all over. This is all over. Um, I mean, I can cav and give it haste just for funsies, but I'm going to say good game and concede. There's no, there's no coming back from that. Um, all right, so I'm starting to get, I'm starting to get an idea of the rhythm of this deck. Uh, what we want to do is put eight more ember cleaves in. Well, this is um, this is definitely up my alley. This deck, big fan, big fan. What does the gem razor do for us again? I just got a got a message from somebody. Uh -huh. Two lands, fires, the Embercleave we want. Not enough lands. Not enough lands. We are totally. Mulliganizing the heck out of this one. Mulligan. Well. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Keep it. Um, I ditch one of the fires because we don't need it. Not, not a great hand. It's a bit, um, a bit useless, but with four lands in our hand. Sorry, make that five. Yep, now I'm just going to go home and salt. <laughs> Sean goes, can you give me a ride?
is straight no. <laughs> oh no, that's right, we can't do that yet. Cool, good on you, well done. You scorching dragon fired uh, arboreal grazer, aka the biggest threat in the game, easily. So let's um let's drop this, drop the fires of invention, and um, maybe get the shifty out, because shifty is just a high value card. Uh <sighs> um, so I, I haven't seen folds like this since Oko. Just straight scoops. Just like, hey, what? How are we going? Scooping oops. Ooh, we got a pack. Let's crack it. Yeah, sweet. What an exciting pack that was. Common wild card. I can't, like, let's see if we can get to a thousand common wild cards by the end of the year. Okie dokie. Prank G, Prank G, Prank G. Uh, we're gonna go with She for this name because I have no idea how to pronounce that. We've got loads of lands and a fires and an ember cleave. Um, sure. I mean, a Kahira with an ember cleave on it isn't anything to be sneezed at, really. Fires of invention, like we, five lands. I don't know if this is like one of those algorithm things where it's going to flood us out, but um, we can start thinning it with that Fable Passage sort of off the bat. Um, so let's do that. Let's Fable Passage and uh, just straight crack it. Uh, grab another forest so that we can guarantee to cast the uh, Questing Beast when needed. That COVID will mess up Kahira. Speaking of COVID, now I've brought this up a bunch of times, but um, the it is it is entirely possible to mutate a pangolin with a bat in this game, um, in this set, and uh, obviously death corona was a thing. Uh, you've got two green, two uh, a blue mana and one other out. So if I play that through, that's gonna let's find out if you got counters, mate. Let's find out. There was a slight pause there. Oh, yeah, just straight shock it. Okay. Psh. See if I care. Wow. Uh, that was a bad move, buddy. Uh, out comes the... Oh, actually, is that enter tapped? Um. <laughs> so we just drew another kid here. <laughs> um... Worth having it? It doesn't really matter. We'll, dro we'll drop that and we will play a Fires of Invention. And we will play a Questing Beast. And we will watch them scoop, maybe? And we'll all attack. This is, um. Maybe not the most efficient play for me, but. We've got Giganta. I've never played against a Giganta deck. Uh, no card in starting deck is more than one symbol, the same mana symbol, and then, oh, you can use it to pay. Hmm, okay. Um, Wonder is unclaimed. Um, and then we will. Uh, Cav and Questing Beast. And then just win. Get rid of the fires of invention. Because we don't need two. Um, and questing beast. And then, like, double pump and haste and just. Questing beast, yeah, right? Like, it's, it's rude. Um, oh, that's right, it's legendary. I forgot it was, too. That's a weird, weird name for a card that's legendary. All right. Whoops. Uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. We'll activate this with double pump and um, just scare the, the bollocks out of them. <sighs> so 
So they're going to trade out with that Gigantha. And, um... How many lands have I got in here? One. And one damage can go to your face, mate. <laughs> Terrible. Like, that's nice that you want to draw cards and stuff, but, like... You're gonna kill my questing base this turn? Or are you just gonna straight up just, like, draw your deck? Do not know. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, keep it. Um. Like, um, let's represent weak, I guess. Like, it, like, there's nothing to give things haste, so. I'm not sure if to, if to play the Kahira into that. We might as well play the Kahira. I don't know. I'm I'm not seeing heaps here. Maybe keeping the Bronton wasn't the greatest, but that thing's annoying the sod out of me at the moment, so um Dragonfire is the card that I would like to have in the deck instead of, um, uh, you know. <laughs> and she says, bye, wife. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, she says. What's up? Yeah, okay. No worries. As I knew, this is intense. I mean, like, it is, it's intense anyway. Like, I just need a, um, I need to get rid of that whirlwind because that's, um, that's just annoying the snot out of me. Um, Embercleave doesn't help me until I can attack with something, so, um, I'll play that for free, mate. And, um, now, what do I wait for next turn and sack block? I've got, I've got 18 health, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing this like a nub, like a noob. Given all of this direct uh, removal that they have. Oh, hello. This is in a winner. I feel like I've um, I've given this away. This is um, this is amusing to say the least. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. Well done. Well done, me. Is there anything more to eat? <laughs> what? Yay! <laughs> she literally just reached into her bag and just pulled out a bag of rolls like she was expecting it. That's brilliant. Bye.
Um, yeah, I know. I, I forgot that the, the questing base was... Um... And just like... Like, like what? Um... Um, yeah, I forgot the questing base was legendary. Like, it's, uh, it didn't come across as a legendary creature in my mind. Because it's just like a regular creature thing. Now, are you going to remove anything? Oh, you sod. Alright. Well, in which case, we suck. Cheesy back and he rolls. I would agree with you there. But by the same token, it's kind of good for Well the fact that it's legendary, I guess, is like a drawback that I'm doing stupid stuff with that. Hmm. Awful. Awful stuff. The J Cause I've got like the, the similarity thing going with the um uh what do you call it? The green. So like I've I've in increased the similarity so that I look a bit smoother around the edges instead of janky. But it does mean that it grabs a little bit more of the, the spectrum. Like, if, I, if I'm wearing black, and my head just sort of, like, disappears into the... into the background. Alright, let's see if I can uh, not screw this up, just for once. But yeah, for sure, when I get the hang of this, this is going to be... Um, It's gonna be a winner by an absolute mark. Um, no? Kinda no? I don't have a scry. I have a brontodon. I got Yorian. Yorian relies on. Ah, Yorian relies on a, a bunch of enchantments, doesn't it? I'm just gonna experiment here, because I'm already at the bottom of uh, Planum, so I'm not too stressed. So let's um, hopefully draw a green. Just got an idea here. This is um, sort of a stupidly risky play, but I don't mind losing. We needed a green mana. That, need, that bond design club needed to be a not green, a, a, a green card uh, mana generator. So the idea was to try and cut the legs out of uh, what they were doing. Yeah, look at all the mold on this. Yeah. Oh, hi. Don't worry, I got this. Well, that sort of answers that play, doesn't it? Uh, remove the uh, Teferi from the equation here. I don't think I need to. I, don't, I really don't think I need to. Because um, I think I've got a bit of a, 
a push going here that's going to be very um, profitable for me, I guess. Hearing about this deck, I know it gets played against it. Expecting that next turn. Yes, probably. Am I ember cleaving <laughs> the boreal grazer? No. I mean, you're, you're a nice person. Alright. So I haven't been doing much chatting because um, this has been mildly confusing. Well. I'm tired. What else am I eating? I'm eating uh, cheese and bacon rolls, aka okay, moldy rolls, because they're slightly affected by the um, by the green screen. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, I'm missing something here. They want to protect that Luca. They want to protect the Narset. So we'll hit the Luca with the Crescent Beast, and we will hit the. Actually, let's um, let's do that. G'day champ, how's it going, the dilf? <laughs> you promised everyone, did you? Hectic. Good times, good times. Thanks for coming by, man. Thanks for the deck list. This is, uh, is going to be a good one. 
I'm sure once I once I realize or wake up or whatever, you know, and stop uh, messing around, this is gonna. Yeah. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? I have no idea what this is. This up, dog. You have to tell me what's up, dog. <laughs> it's, um, I'm just going to leave. What, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can, um, play three, then play the six. So that's. Kahira, oh, I don't know, this is, uh, this is Tyson, all attack, um, let's, uh, let's swing at the, I don't know, that's like, that's a bigger problem than I was hoping to deal with, one attack, uh, and between on the arboreal grazer. My mind needs a rest. I just don't know. I, just, I mean, I really didn't really have any way to sort of draw out uh, anything there. We are going to have to, I'd like you to meet my friend, Stumpy. do something. Where? Super rough. I've got hmm. Do not like at all. He's got the upper hand. There's no way I can really bring this back. Ah, uh, this is going to be a scoop. A scoop for the sake of scooping. This has been uh, this has been a rough night tonight. So uh, let's concede that. Tell you what, tell you what, guys. Tell you what. I am in the mood to crack some packs. How's that sound? Let's do some pack cracking. Let's uh, let's uh, let's chuck this down here. Yeah, let's crack some packs. Let's uh, let's get this uh, let's get this kicked off. Okay, let's um, let's move over to the the crack packing window. How's that sound? Here we go. The crack packing window, look at that. All right, we have, we have a box of pre-release cards, crack packing. <laughs> you made me say that, uh, <laughs> pack and crack. All right, that transition gets you every time so smooth. Yes, it is set to 300 milliseconds. Um, oh, finally, I got a black one. Yes. Now, I think I just need white for my collection. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we finally got a black spin-down counter. What did we get here? We got... Uh, I'm a bit disappointed with this one because I don't particularly like this card. But... Dranith Magistrate as the first, first pull foil. It is a... Badly focused card, come on. There we go. It's a bit better. Give it a smidge forward there. Yeah, so there's there's five five colours. Man, it really doesn't want to focus on that Dranus Magistrate, does it? That's no good. There we go. Ah! Ah, foiled again. Yeah, blurry art, bro. This is the, the set with the, the special edition blurry ons. But seriously.
spot, seriously. Anyway, I'm getting rid of the draft magistrate. It's um Yeah, it refocuses, but then it unfocuses. It's um it's a bit of a bit of a laugh. Just quietly. Okay, pack number one. Pack number one. I gotta open them properly because I'm not very good at this at the moment. We have an old art regal Leosaur. That's really cool, actually. I like that. There you go. There you go. Yeah, the foil is probably the problem there. This seems to be totally fine working that way. That's cool. That is cool. Uh, we also got a Death's Oasis. Death's Oasis. Yeah, as a rare. And uh, we got a Chittering Harvester. Foil. Which focused better than the Dranath Magistrate did. That's awful. That's okay. Sorry, Dranath Magistrate, but you're useless. Sweet. That was pack number one. Pack number two. Now, we are going to start our little competition here. Pack number four has a mythic. I'll tell you what, if pack number four has a mythic in it, Ragoni, I will give you that mythic. Nah, this one. Nah, this, I'm not going to play this game. <laughs> I'm not going to play this game. Um, okay. Uh, so here we go. Where are we? Where are we up to? Where are we up to? We're going to... Say, anybody who is able to pick up uh, the, the prize, here's the prize. I'm just going to stick it in the background here for a second. Tonight's prize is a commander deck. It is the Symbiotic Swarm commander deck. Yes, yes, yes. This is the prize, and I'm going to tell you how to win it. We're going to play a process of elimination, okay? Okay. If you would like to win the prize and you're able to somehow pick it up or get somebody to come and pick it up for you, remember this is for the lo locals, please say entry. Say entry. And I'm going to write down everyone's names until we have enough people here saying entry. And then, nah me, that doesn't work. Entry. All right. So we got so, uh, Sourworms. Oh, sour worms. Okay, I get it. Like, like sour worms. Now I get it. Now I get it. Um, <laughs> the Dilf. We got Riggs. Oh, you guys are going too quickly. Riggs, 23. Uh, the Fendercaster. I'm writing these down because I'm lazy. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this in the future. Uh, frozen Gnomes. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, where I put the Dilf in? Uh, now I get it. And Roshmeister. Hey, Roshmeister. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else want to enter the competition to win the Symbiotic Swarm Pack? The Symbiotic Swarm Commander Deck. Who wants to win it? I don't, I don't have to do that. I can just hold it up. Hi -ya, hi -ya, yeah, 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 yeah. Any more? Any more entries? Have we got. I mean, like, we've currently got six entries out of the 12, 13 people in the chat, something like that. Remember, you have to be in the region to come pick it up if you win it. You may. You're welcome to enter the competition, but you have to be able to pick up your prize. Um, or send somebody to pick it up for you. Okay, so we're going to start knocking people out of this competition. We currently have one, two, three, four, five, six people who are in with a chance to win these this pack. Where what? Where are you, Roche Master? You said morning, so I'm assuming uh, in a different hemisphere somewhere. USA, that makes things a little bit hard because we have no way to get it to. Um, so, 
He's out already. That was easy. Okay, who else is out of the region? Because this is how we're going to narrow it down. Yeah, you'll swim it over. <laughs> all right. Okay. So those those five of you who have entered, all right. Those five of you who have entered, I'm going to crack this pack. I want everyone to write uh, to tell me what color they think the rare or mythic rare in this pack would be. The card that occupies the rare or mythic rare, rare slot. What do you think? What color do you think it is? So we've got green from Sour Worms. Keep guessing. The Dilf white. You don't have to, like, you can pick the same if you want. Green, white. You get one color. God. You've got blue, uh, pink. Golds, so multicolor. So you're gonna you're gonna call multicolor. I don't think that works that way. Uh, if it has one of those colors, you have to you have to choose. So we got we got white on frozen gnomes. Rigs, pick a color, an actual color. One of the five, one of the five colors. If it is gold, then it will be whatever colors it's got. Red. Okay. So that means we have black as the wild card color. Okay. Now, now, here's the trick. If it is your color, you are out. Right? Right. Changing the, the, the plans on you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because it's not like you could actually have known. Uh, we have the first pack. All right. <laughs> Lands are colorless. Are they now? All right. So <laughs> I do this all the time. I always change. I sit, I sit there and I say, hey guys, keep note of the amount of times I concede tonight because we've got a prize coming later and then I'll ask a completely different question. Okay. The first card is a lava serpent. That's a common. Common is a main serval. That is a common. Glimmerbell is a common. Real up dog. What's up? What's up dog? Cathartic Reunion, common. Serrated Scorpion, common. Survivor's Bond, common. Migratory Great Horn, mostly invisible, common. Gloom Pangolin, common. And Dreamtail Heron, common. Adaptive Shimmerer, common. Okay, not much you. <laughs> so good. Okay, the uncommons. We got a skull prophet. We have a dire tactics. We have a bastion of remembrance. And I mean, like, Riggs was right. <laughs> because <laughs> it's a Zagoth Triome and so it sort of counts as colorless um, so we're going to have to do the next pack and do that again ah, 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 ah. oh no <laughs> that's terrible it was a Zagoth Triome okay okay did anybody want to change their color they can change their color Hold the card to the right more. It's glitching out. It will glitch out anyway because I'm on the green screen. So, Frozen Names are staying on white. We've got... The Fender Cast is changing to blue. Are you still blue? Yep. Staying on white. Is anybody changing? Staying on green? Yep. Stay. Riggs, you're staying or are you changing? Keep. Okay. And keep. All right. So you're all, all doubling down on this one. Remember, if it's your color, you're out. And we keep going until there's one man standing. I'm assuming you're all men. Yes. 
Sour Worms. What a name. This is... This is the fourth pack. This is the fourth pack. So if it's a Mythic, you get the Mythic, okay? I did promise. Forbidden Friendship. Snare Tactician. Of One Mind. Dranith Stinger. God, I hate that card. Uh, Unlikely Aid. Wilt. Crustacean. Fire Prophecy. And... Uh, so are Sabretooth and Anticipate. Alright, that's our commons done. In the uncommons, we have a Keen Sight Mentor. A Footfall Crater. And a Raw Green Crystal. Now remember, if your colour comes up, if your colour comes up, you are out. The rare in this pack, which is a rare, not a mythic. Sorry, Riggs. That's coming up so badly. This is just going straight over here. It is Offspring's Revenge. It has red, white, and black in it, which means we lose Riggs, you're out. We lose the Dilf, you're out. And we lose Frozen Gnomes, you're out. And the wild card color was black, so nobody chose that. So that leaves Sour Worms and the Fender Caster in the game. All right. What a totally rigged game. What a totally rigged game. Like, I, I absolutely went and rigged these packets up. Rigged these packets up. Also, just so that we remember, that actually wasn't... That was the third pack, not the fourth pack. So this, this might be the mythic that we're after for for the for rigs. So, we've got three packets to try and figure out which one is going to win this. So, how will we do that? Uh, let's say each of you has to pick a different colour. And over the course of these three packs, these next three packs, the color that comes up the most in the common slot will win. Sound good? I think that sounds pretty good. Blue. <laughs> you reckon blue will come up? Blue and white. No, wait. Oh, piss off. The last pack has foil rare. Okay. I, the, you, you're just trying to trick me into giving one away. I am. So... So I was choosing blue, the Fender Caster, uh, black. Cool. All right. And black. I am going to read out all the comments again in order to ensure that we get this, uh, this absolutely right. Uh, and you guys can uh, hold me to this because this is being recorded, of course, of course, of course. Uh, GG. The last pack in box will be sealed. Oh, if it's sealed, you can have the last pack in the box. The Dilf. Okay. Pack one. Well, actually, sorry, pack four. And let's just skip straight to the back and say, sorry, dude. It's not the Dranith Magistrate. It's not a Mythic Rare. We did, however, get a Foil Rare in this pack. So that was the Song of Creation, um, which was uh, really annoying to me in, uh, in Standard a second ago. So the, the commons are... The commons are... Forbidden Friendship, Solid Footing, Frost Links, that's a blue, Tentative Connection, Honey Mammoth, Cavern Whisperer, which is black, Mosscoat Goriak, Boot Nipper, and Anticipate. Okie dokie. So far, it's 2-2. Two, two. It is 2-2. Two, two. Now, this is... Uh, you're out again. This is the winner. Okay, remember, the top the top person who gets this out of these two will win that, uh, that commander deck. Pack number five. Pack number five. You're sweating. <laughs> Mate, this is... Uh, this is... This is... 
this is like happy, happy, quiet time for us. This is the, this is the easy stuff. All right, let's look at the the rare first. We've got a dirge bat here, dirge bat, and we got a swamp, and then we got three uncommons, including an alt art auspicious Starix. It's a really cool card. Uh, it looks really terrible there, so we'll just we'll just chuck that there. How's that sound? Uncommon, uncommon. Get rid of that. Okay. Perimeter Sergeant. Thieving Otter. There's another blue. Humble Naturalist. It's green. Bushmeat Poacher. It's black. Sleeper Dart is an artifact. Memory Leak is black. Greater Sandworm is green. Springjaw Trap is artifact. Rumbling Rock Slide is red. And convolute is blue so uh, that leaves you on 4-4 again so it's running a little bit even here that's uh that's a little bit crazy we might have to have a tiebreaker here at the end if we if we don't um split the pack a little bit <laughs> roll off it'll end up being a, a roll off split the split the deck <laughs> split a commander deck you can have i'll take the uh mana rocks i'll have the soul ring and the commanders you have like all the Tiebreaker, if it's a tie, I win. Easy. <laughs> Take all the lands. All right. Easy. Okay. Final pack, guys. Final pack. This is the one. This is going to make it a... This is going to make it a... This is the... Like, we've got one more pack to go. Don't get, uh, don't get too excited. We've got to see which one wins. Blue or black. We've got 4-4 four, four so far. Let's, uh, let's see what the... Uh, what would you say? The final... This final pack will have a foil rare in it. Is that what you said? Because it's a foil common. And uh, it doesn't sit in the common slot. So it doesn't count as one of the commons for the, pro the competition. It sits in the foil slot. So sorry about that. Um, the uncommons will take those out. We did, however, get an alt art trio. In the rare slot. So you kind of almost like foil red. It's a bit of a thing. So get rid of those. Okie dokie. We have Cathartic Reunion is red. We have Garrison Cat is white. We have Survivor's Bond, which is green. We have Savai Sabretooth, which is white. Blazing Volley, which is red. Day Squad Marshal, which is white. We have Dark Bargain, which is black. Putting Fendercaster in the lead by one. We have Glimmerbell, which is blue. Bringing it back up to even. And then for the winning card, it's black. It's Fendercaster. Fendercaster takes it with six black cards to five blue cards. Congratulations, dude. You have won a pack of cards. You, that, was, that was good fun. That was, that was good fun. You can come pick that up anytime you like. Congratulations. You are now into magic. <laughs> you can play. Yeah. So, the, if you're not, not super familiar with Magic, this is actually a fantastic way to jump into the game. Um, uh, commander is a, a special format where you have a leader card that you cast as your commander. You can always cast it out of the command zone. Uh, it, when it dies, it goes back into the command zone. So, it's a little bit too, different to what we're playing tonight. It's a, a 100 card deck. Um, and yes, please do. Let's link up and play in store. Uh, if any card is Trent, if I believe correctly, did I get that right? Uh, the other Trent, we, we have we have another Trent that we don't particularly like. Um, we try to we try to keep keep him out of the shop as often as possible. But uh, if you're happy to behave like a not Trent, and be, I'm joking, Trent was a store champion a while ago. Uh, but this Trent is a new Trent, and Trent is a good dude. So <laughs> yuck, yuck. There isn't there is another Trent. So um, congratulations, guys. That was good fun. Uh, Kraken packs is madness. Uh, this Zagoth trio that we got here. Triome, Triome. I don't quite. I think. I think it's Triome officially. Um, very cool card. Very like full art. It's um, it's uh, it's mad. Uh, yeah. So you're not. Yeah. The other one's Tret, right? 
Trett with it. <laughs> Trett Peters. Um, yeah, cool. Well, well done. That was mad fun. That was that was mad mad fun. So well well done, guys. That was um that was a bit of fun. Uh, look, we're gonna jump back in and um and see if we can pilot this deck to to victory here. Uh. Making a mess of things here. Man, this table. This table got messy. Yeah, it's really messy. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. It's not my problem. It is actually my problem. I'm the only one who uses this desk. But in the meantime, let's uh, let's flick over here. And, um, and start getting stuck in again, hey? How's that sound? I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of getting stuck in. Um... My wonderful wife was kind enough to sort me out a bin, and I just put all the rubbish on the table instead of in the bin, because I'm a smart man. I'm a smart man that goes to absolutely useless when my uh, when my wife isn't here. Um, as I'm sure is the case for many people. <laughs> okay, all right, let's keep playing. We're playing this bigger dumb ruler deck. I'm starting to pick it up. I'm starting to get the swing of it. Um, Roll a dice and the number means you have to play that card. It doesn't work that way with this deck, man. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. I would love to, but it just doesn't. Uh, four lands and a fires of invention is basically a, a yes answer straight out. That's just uh, a keeper. Let's do it. Don't care. Scorch Spitter. Let's, uh, let's abandon the temple and um, get rid of the lands we don't need. Now that we've drawn that forest, we've got the five lands to, uh, to drop a Cavalier of Flame and a Vivian off the, um, off the fires. We've got a Stomping Ground, uh, Enters Tapped. We just basically can't well, live a little. I will live a little, but like... <laughs> <laughs> this makes me rich. It's so true. I'm just so mean to everyone. I sit down at the table and I start smack talking all of my customers. It's no wonder that they want to beat me. Um, all right, we put a forest down and we will drop Kahira. Might as well. I mean, like. We'll see what happens here. They've got the Heralded Banner out now, so they're doing a lot of damage. Um, I want to keep Kahira here because uh, of the nonsense, so no blocks. Ouch. Did I want to do that? Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't think I wanted to do that, actually, now that I think about it. Because we're playing this, and then we're playing the Fires, and then we're playing the Shifting Ceratops. Um, and they can basically kill me this turn. No. Uh, he's got Vigilance. I'm going to attack with him. Yep, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Like... Super rough. Let's uh, let's zoom in on a Zagoth Trium. Yeah, that's heaps better. A bit of fun. So, uh, Sour Wines, you are, are actually studying sound design or something at uh, uni at the moment, is that right? What you need, What school you at? 
Afters, that's right. That's right. I'm not getting this hand. It's awful. I'll keep this hand. It's, it's still awful. But it does a thing. So we'll keep six and we will drop the Brontodon. Yeah, I know the one. I know the one. I went to SAE Quantum to do uh, game design. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with all the colleges that offer things in that particular sphere. Uh, we will abandon the temple. That, oh, so ours wasn't. Uh, we were, oh no, we were near Central. The I think they moved to like Wynyard or something actually. Uh, I don't need another Temple of Abandon. Really don't need it. Blood Aspen. I haven't seen this play in a while. Sator Berserker. We're playing like a... This is going to be awesome if this is a... A Sator Tribal. Because I've, I've wanted to do that for a little while. Drop a Forest. drop a mountain and we're going to Kihira Oh great Say hi to my fiery friends Like at the end of the day, that's not really the, that's not the end of the world. That's um a thing. But that blood aspirin, what the heck? Dang! Wow! I'm getting throttled by this guy. That is crazy. Cause like even the the questing base is gonna get punched. Um. So, let's put down the mountain, fires of invention, and questing base for free. No attacks, because he can block with that bloody blood aspirin, it's just huge. that creepiness. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm about to do it. Sneaky BRB. Sneaky as burb. If that's the right play they should have made because I got the um, the old fires going here uh, we can drop the mountain we can cav ditching two lands and that's it um and uh, wish we kept the lands because uh, that would have been um, that would have been good. Uh, activate ability, give everything plus one plus one oh, a bunch of times, um, and then I'm happy to lose the Kahira if it means them. Because if the questing base does damage to them, they're, they're, that's dead. So they're going to have to block the questing base. 
They can't kill the questing beast with the blockers that they got, so that's going to be a block sack scenario at best. Um, I would like to give them reasons to not block the questing beast, so I'm going to swing with everything. Interesting. Am I threatening to leave? Am I leaving? Threatening to leave where? Hey, these little guys are great. These little guys are great. Did, 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 did we do the thing? Death touch and manage. So now he's in a spot where he's just going to kill all my stuff. Weirdly, he's killing the um the sacrifice a creature. Uh, this one. How many lands do I have? It's two. I think. Damn it. <sighs> Damn it. Let's kill that. Well, that's rude. Come on, draw something good. Draw a land. No, we don't need a land. We can, um... Oh, we haven't... Oh! God damn it. Like, you know, he totally could have... Sacked. No, he couldn't have, that's alright. Um, okay, so the land doesn't actually help us at all here. Um... None of this really helps at all. Um, but, I mean... Got that. Uh, draw a card. I don't think there's any outs here. Um, Arboreal Grazer. Putting down the land doesn't, again, make any difference. Um, have the shifty at the top, <laughs> again, doesn't make any difference at all. One health. Um, next, to combat. Um, attack with a questing beast at the face and Cast the Ember Cleave on the Pressing Beast. And I think I might have just exact seized. Exact seas. Exact seas. You know what I mean? No, no, no. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Yeah, that's. Oh no, wait. Oh shit, yeah, because that trample. Whoa! Whoa, that was a close game. I totally forgot about that trample. Sweet. Wow, <laughs> what a play. Alright. What a play. Crazy. Crazy. I feel like I'm being watched. Alrighty, let's play again. Just keep on smashing on. <sighs> so, where are we up to? What is the what is the the stream chat doing here? We've got, we've got quite a few viewers at the moment, which is really cool. Um, thank you very much for coming along, guys. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mitchell. I own a shop called Good Games in Nara. We are part of a, a franchise. Is that a solid hand? Is it? Yes, actually, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so for those who don't know me, I'm, I'm, I'm Mitchell. I own a shop in Nara. Uh, it's a really cool place. Um, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. We play Magic. Uh, we also do other cool stuff. Um,
And um, yeah, uh, since the coronavirus pandemic, I've been streaming just to keep in touch with my community. So um, it's been a lot of fun. And by fun, I mean... No, I was going to be mean to my staff for a second there. Um, and then we'll attack with that. It has been great. Like, it's been, um, like, I, it's going to sound stupid, but I'm very grateful for this pandemic because I work most days um, from 9 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night, and it can be really rough, and you, can, you forget that you don't have the time. And so this time, during this pandemic, I've just been able to chill, enjoy myself a little bit, smile on my face, you know. It's been it's been rough, like financially, but you know we're um, we're getting there. We've had a we've had a crazy year. The bushfires, oh my god, the bushfires, and then the bushfires nearly destroyed all of our local business. Um, and uh... yeah, that's cool, man. Like, I'm glad. I'm glad. I try to I try to get the, the streaming happening most nights. Uh, once we have. Um... Uh, people able to come in for events and things like it'll be harder for me to do. Um, ah, that's all good, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, this guy's about to lose the game. <laughs> Just about to thrash him. So we can um, we can put out a quartzwood crasher for free, um, and we can put out a cavalier of front of flame for free and then we can pump the cav yeah there's a uh, i'm pretty sure we would have hit almost lethal that turn that was painful wow 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 um yeah that's that's rough as god this uh this standard meta game is pretty good pretty good it's like a lot of stuff so no, we didn't end up doing one because we can't we can't have too many people at the shop at the moment. So it's still like coronavirus lockdown, whatever. But um, like we've got pre-release boxes, so I'm still gonna run one when you guys are allowed to come by and play it. Oh, I'm not gonna miss out on that. I love pre-release. It's one of my favorite events. So uh, this is a terrible hand. Uh, everything's too big. That's way better. We can we can mull and get rid of the fires of invention, and that puts us in a spot. And a half. That's awesome. Keep six, yeah. Um, this this deck mulligans very well. That's cool. We're, we're playing a forest, and then we're playing, uh, let's say, Arboreal Grazer with a Bonders Enclave. Or a Fable Passage. I don't know what the most ideal play is. At this stage, probably the Bonders Enclave, because we don't want to miss a land by uh, pulling it out of the deck and shuffling. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I mean, like, it's going to be a crazy prelease because everyone's going to be so familiar with the cards. It, that's going to be good. I love a limited release when everyone's, like, well-practiced. Um, it has to be this, doesn't it? That's uh, annoying. We should have done the Fable Passage last turn so that we had the efficiency next turn for the creature. Uh, cancel attacks. We don't need to. It is very mental. Especially since everybody knows that like, <laughs> in Limited, the, um, the cycling mechanic is just so good. I can't, like, I, I normally play the hell out of draft on here, and I can't do it with, um, with this, this sort of, uh, set. That's be a forest. Ah, oh, you sod. I need a fourth land. I need it to be a mountain. <sighs> Yawn. Like 
stand by and watch. I'll protect you. Oh, come on. This is slow and grindy. Slow and grindy. Mm. You won. Um, Sour Worms, you have to let uh, Gabe know that he should take a photo of his setup so you can see what we're doing down here. It's really, really cool. I've actually built a studio out the back go. of the shop. It's pretty mad. It's pretty mad. We've got um, one of those blue Yeti microphones, um, so it's pretty high quality. Um, so you see the pop, 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 pop filter. Yeah, I mean, it's studio. We've got, um, I, I can actually, like, I can I can actually do this. This is going to be mad. Oh, give me a second. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a tour in a second. It's going to blow your mind. Um, we're dropping that out because we still haven't got a land that we needed. We needed a fourth land. And it needed to be a red. It is probably too late. Uh, parcel Beast is going to die if it blocks. Let's both attack the Teferi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, um, most of it's fine. So we... So, if there's anything that I'm good at, actually, that's, that's made it darker for Only me. Time will um, so, if there's anything I'm good at, it's making stuff out of whatever I've got lying around. Like, I just, I'm the kind of guy who just goes, right, I can make that into a structure. Um, so, let's do it. Uh, you probably had a look um, out the back, and you've gone to the bathroom or whatever, and you've seen the mess that we've got out at the back of the shop. Well, I turned most of that mess into something else. Instead of just getting rid of it, I actually just flipped it. And um, yeah, it's a. Uh, I always need to buy new. That is load of. That's a load of crap. That is a load of crap. I do like buying new. I do like buying new quite a lot, but I mean, like in in this particular case, I uh, I definitely. Um, Oh dear, he's indestructible. He's not. So, yeah, block that, I guess. Block that, I guess. I mean, am I I'm not reading something here? Come on! Give me a land. The dream, I guess. <laughs> I'm not a trainee in the slightest. Actually, wait. I mean, I've done a lot of very physically based jobs. Ah, yikes. You can see. <laughs> Stay still. Stay still, microphone. Um, let's attack with just the Bronze. Is it got vigilance? It does, doesn't it? Because everything gets vigilance thanks to Kahira. So let's attack with that one Vigilance creature and see if he uh, blocks with the one. Nope, that's a, a free 4 mana. If you, can't, you see you buy the stuff from the back if I can't repurpose. <laughs> like, what are you after? Are you after like an industrial sized printer that may have been uh, X defense? So you're doing that just to bring back Charming Princes. And that is not value at all. Um, like, I don't know what I'm walking into here. It doesn't make any sense. Because um, you will notice dead now. <laughs> you get a scry again? You get a gain three life? Wow, 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 wow. What is going on with this deck? Um, this 
<laughs> I've knocked the microphone. Like I sort of, it should be let, not quite this uh, this swingy at the moment. Um, uh, still haven't got a land. That is ridiculous. Um, stay still, microphone. Stay still. So, um, yeah, look, uh, it's been a, it's been a thing. It's probably too early up, I'm going to give you a tour. I've got, um... Get that going. I honestly don't know what's going on here. This, this, uh... I'm not going to risk losing the Winota again this time. Strange, strange guns on. There's my land, there's my land, there's my fires of invention. That was like, wait, so long for that to happen. Have a questing beast. <laughs> he quit. He saw the fires come out. He's almost like he, he read the enthusiasm going on in the game. Um, okay, so uh, let's um, let's have a quick look at this. Dooby 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 da ba 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 ba. Stop creeping in, microphone. So, so I'm just gonna, yeah. The, the desk is a filthy mess, but it's it's an okay filthy mess, I guess. Um, quick quick tour of what I've managed to put together here. So it started all off on a laptop until I got a little bit of that stimmy money from the government, and I decided to sink it into a machine to do some um, some live streaming. Uh, in the multicam method. So that's, as you can see, what I've done here with the multicam thing. Um, that's all in aid of practice for running cool D&D stuff. Like getting, getting a bit epic with D&D. Um, we're just using uh, open source software at the moment, which is really cool. But uh, we're getting pretty good at this. We're getting pretty good at this. Um, just going to ditch some of this rubbish. Now, I can do this. Da 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 da. And I can uh, I can aim this thing around. Oh wow, it's a it's a it's a good camera. So, this here is the boom arm. You see what I did? So like this is all like uh, home homemade. Uh, homemade sort of soundproofing using uh, EVA foam mats and pool noodles. Uh, you can see down here, there's a bit more of that foam. You can see at the back, I've basically stapled a, um, a, a rug to the wall. Uh, it makes for a very good, um, very good sound. Up the top there, I've got key lights um, and uh, fill lights at the top. And uh, that's like a, uh, some sort of insulation thing on, a, on an angle that I put together. I literally just hacked it together. Um, pool noodles are the side. So they act as baffles. So they're, they're round, obviously. So they don't, they don't reflect directly back at me. Uh, and those green ones are sort of at, um, I guess, eye level or mouth level. So that all the sound that goes forwards just gets deflected away straight away. So there's no, there's no direct reflection. These babies, this is going to blow your mind. So these, these, these lights that I made here, I actually made these out of, I think you can see sort of the angle. They're made from aluminium foil and baking paper. And inside that is just a lamp. It's just a, a regular lamp sitting there on the, on the table. So you can see if I get up close, hopefully that's, um, that's just got aluminium foil on the inside to reflect all the light forward. Um, and, uh, yeah. So it's pretty crazy. It's crazy. Like it's such a it's such a good little setup. Uh, this is the three monitors. <laughs> uh, was a little bit of retail therapy today, and uh, yeah, this guy starts creeping across if I'm not careful because he's on a funny angle. But um, yeah, it's a good boom arm with a with a proper pop filter. Pop pop pop, pop filter, and uh, yeah, and then that's my mess. That is that is the mess. Um, and uh, behind me, the green screen. His face, his face, with the pop, 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 pop filter. 
pretty neat. And so that, like, you can see the... I've literally three monitors. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be playing a little bit more of that tonight, just for a second before I come home. Uh, yeah, and that um, that little box there is literally just sitting right next to me. It's um, using just a little clip light to sort of keep it keep it illuminated. And uh, yeah, um, <laughs> rude as. Yeah, man. And like, it, it's a community thing. So I know you're up in, um, in Sydney at the moment, but as a member of the community, you are welcome to have a chat to me and see what you want to do in regards to, um, making some, uh, making some content using the, the little facilities that I've put together here. Uh, the, the camera that I stop, stop it. Uh, the cameras that I use, I've got uh, a 322, um, sorry, 922 webcam, and I've got um, now three stream cams. So the, th the three stream cams are the, the newest Logitech, uh, the ones that you like this one here, that's, that's a stream cam. And it's like, they're insanely good quality. Um, there's actually a cool little rig that I made out in the, um, in the main area that uh, it's like a square... Uh, about four foot by four foot. It's a, a ring light, effectively, that uh, sits on a rig that sits over a table. Uh, so I can actually mount a camera up on the top, looking down. Yeah, man, you do do, do what you like. I mean, if you've got, uh, if you want to get your face on on camera, you're welcome to come and get your face on camera. Uh, like I love this. This is this is fun. It's just it is so much fun. And like the the green screen was donated. Uh, the webcam we're looking at right here, the nine twenty two, that was donated. Um, by a local guy who's just a just a fucking champion. Um, can't thank him, him enough. Um, he's really really good. Uh, everything's going so well with this whole thing. Um, getting some good, good uh, you know attention contacts whatever. Um, meeting people all over, uh, all over. The, yeah, hats off to him, hundred um, percent. All over the uh, Twitch sphere. Um, the magic community in Australia just seems to be, to be rocking up and um, I'm also sort of like re... Um, well, see, this is the thing, right? Like, so, like, I'm... I, I had to invest in a security system. <laughs> so anybody who's been listening and, and hearing me talk about all this great stuff, you're in trouble if you try to steal it. Um, so it's a, bit, a big investment, but it also means that, like, I can actually see what's going on in the store now when I'm not in the room. So I can sit out here and I can do streaming if I want to. But on top of that, uh, I can do live streamed magic games from the shop every Friday night. And that's going to be really, really mad. As I was saying about that ring light, it's like it mounts above the table so you can mount a camera to it in the middle. Um, it means that the it's nice fill, full light um, and uh, people can um, can have games. So um, can you still get in under the bin near the fridge? Um, <laughs> no. Uh, you know, so the, um, this is, this is out the back. This is not up the back. This is like, uh, under the bin near the fridge. Oh no, we were talking about that last time you were in here, right? Yeah. You can, um, you can like sneak in under that. There's like that secret, uh, <laughs> secret spot that doesn't pick up on the, um, on the motion sensor. So the motion sensor, like it wouldn't matter. I've got a, I've got cameras everywhere now. So you guys, um, like there's considering like a few weeks ago, uh, there was no cameras in the shop and then all of a sudden there's literally like close to 15 in various different ways. There's like security cameras. There's the, <laughs> the, all the different attempts I had at trying to make a multi-cam rig. Um, but, uh, what I needed to do was get a new computer, which I've done now. So that's, um, that covers that. So yeah, anyway, it's, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm, I'm mostly stoked about the, the triple monitor setup. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. It's, um, it's, a, it is again, like a, a community service thing. If you are, um, making D and D content and you would like to use the facilities here to make D and D content, you are welcome to pitch that idea to me and we'll make it happen. 
Uh, I am the Netflix of now and now. If you have an idea, it goes on the TV. Um, we, if you want to sit here and stream Arena, you can use my Arena account with all the cards and all the wild cards I got, and you can do an Arena stream if you want. I've already had celebrity guests, you know, it's really pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, once uh, once this, this camera rig is uh, set up and ready to go, um, like, yeah, wow, it's going to be awesome. It's just going to be phenomenal. Um, super excited. So, um, feather, a feather, man, this green screen's picking up yellow more than it's picking up green. That, that's bright yellow. Yeah, man, like, uh, that, that would be, um, a celebrity, uh, celebrity cameo for the ages, wouldn't it? I do get a lot of, um, not going to toot my own horn, but, uh, I'm in demand. <laughs> But yeah, for sure. I did do that. Um, and you, so you're doing a show at the moment. Do you have a link to it, mate? Do you have a link to it? Are you are you already producing? Are you already publishing this this content that you're making? Because that would be that would be fantastic if you were already uh, on your way. Is it a is it a podcast style thing? Is it on video? Is it? Um, because, like, another cool thing... Oh, my sound's going into standby. Uh, another cool thing that we can do here with the... Um, uh, you send me a secret link. Do it. Send me a secret link now, and then I'll chuck it on, it. I'll, I'll chuck it on, the, uh, on the web here. We'll go straight to window view with inset. No. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll go, go to go to Aiden's... Sezanenko's secret thingo thingo. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. That's mad. Um, madness. That's gonna be cool. Um, you flick. If you flick the link to me, don't flick it to the to the public chat. Send it to me on my um on my Facebook. Uh, I will have a look at what you got so far, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm always happy to support local cr creators, producers. Um, even if you've moved away from the spot, uh, we're still um, we're still here for you um, to further your career, increase your con content quali quality of content to. Um, smash out a sick show reel. I mean, you like on afters, you'd probably have like uh, all of the cheap um, uh, access to things like um, uh, what you call it. Oh, you don't have to thank me, man. Just make good shit. Just go out there and like do good stuff for the world. It'd be awesome. Uh, anyway, look, tonight was supposed to be magic, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more game and then I'm gonna go home. Uh, we're going to get distracted. Send me those links. Send me those links, buddy. Um, we're going to see if we can smash out another one. Uh, we're going to bring it into MTG Arena once more and uh, do ourselves some damage here. Um, claim that prize. Workshop, the art of artisan. Oh, okay, that's the artisan mode, which is like commons and uncommons or something like that. Um... Uh, keeper, keeper, because it puts us uh, on an extended fast curve for um, the questing beast. Two bonus enclaves, not legendary. That's good. That's good. I like that. We're gonna win this. This is a this is an easy victory. Think about that. Arboreal Grazer Temple 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 Yes, we get the scry out of it 
Uh, we're keeping that. Right. Um, Death Touch and Life Link. Okay. No blocks. No blocks. No blocks. Final match. Drill bit. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Because he doesn't know that we've got another one on the top of the deck. And it's going to blow his blow his feeble mind when that happens. Yeah, get rid of the Broton. Yeah, go on. Go on, I dare ya. Uh, we'll put it down the Bombers Enclave and we'll play another Arboreal Grazer and bring out the other Bombers Enclave and... Um, no attacks. Fun for the whole family. Now let's have another drill bit sitting there. This would be super annoying. No blocks. Now here's the thing. We don't need that right now. That has haste, but it's gonna. Oh, wait, the vampire was tapped. So, what the. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, I should have thought about that. I just didn't, I didn't want to, like, attack the flashing beast into that vampire of the diamond. But, um... He's hoping they don't have another drill bit. Grim Dancer. Menace, Death Touch, and Life Link. Of course. Death Touch and Life Link, because that's a stupid combo. Kills everything, gives life. Bizarre. Oh, the misplays are coming on thick and strong today, aren't they? Um, so we can, we can play the stomping ground here. Like, we, the, the questing beast is... Oh, and it can't be blocked by power, two or less. Um. Hmm. to combat um no attacks no attacks did you send me that link says I sour wines send me a facebook message who else is here? I've just had this like extended conversation with with Sezo. Who have we got? Who have we got? Frozen names. You still around? Huh? 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 I just want to say hi. I just I love you, Alan. I miss you. I think I think you're slacking. <laughs> it's not like I'm putting you to work or anything. I'm just like <laughs> I just I wanted to say hi. You should come hang out at the shop and do a stream. You should. Hundred percent. It would be good. So. Look. <laughs> I jumped on screen, man. I jumped on screen. I was looking at that and going, oh, they're going to sleep. I, got, I, I put on makeup, bro. I put on makeup for this nonsense. Right? Huh? 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 Look. Actual makeup. Uh, Page your life. We'll get it. With. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Three red for the cab. 
Don't like that. You would rate me as more attractive than yourself. Man, you gotta you gotta take a look in the mirror and compare it to me, because I'm I look like a fucking uh, uh, yeah, we're after nine o'clock, we can swear. Um, I look like a, a thumb that's been hit with a meat grinder. <laughs> so, you're gonna sack any of these? Come on. Do a thing. The face of Twitch. Is that what that's going on there with that? I don't know that face. I don't even know who it's supposed to be. Target opponent puts death touch counter on a creature they control. Okay. Like it feels it feels a little bit like they're about to do something dumb. It's a. It's, I, I've got the dark mode on, so I don't know what the the thing is. Like it's. Let's discard that and hopefully draw something better. Well, that didn't help. No attacks. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. Did, that, did you follow that up with something that said keep it secret and keep it safe? <laughs> We've got a picture of Gandalf on our bathroom door that says the same thing. Um... Like, I'm bored of this game. This is not a great way to end uh, uh, a stream. Becoming, like, severely bored of the game. But... Like... Like what? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. Oh, no attacks. No attacks. Do -do -do -do. We've had, we'll had like a, a relatively large view, viewership tonight, which has been pretty cool. Um, I don't have the stats open. I think I have a, a box that I can bring up. No, that's, that's the wrong stats. Uh, view docs, uh, Twitch stats, and see what it comes up with. It says we've currently got four viewers, but like overall we've had uh, 717 views. Maybe not tonight, but um, yeah, no, I'm pretty pretty happy with that. Uh, choose blockers. Um, no blocks. I'm just gonna talk. I'm just gonna. Dab dab dab. Been a good one. Been a good one, guys. I've, uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I do get this, the uh, stream stats um, sent to me um, at a uh, later date, so um, well, later in the night, so I'll check that out. 
But um, yeah, I've got work tomorrow. I do have to do a little bit of snoozing. Um, and yeah, look, um, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Uh, thank you for jumping in, guys. Thank you for supporting the stream as per usual. Uh, Fendercaster, come by and pick up your deck. Remember, you won the commander deck. Uh, you are now a commander player. Crazy times. Crazy times. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, looking forward to looking forward to what comes next. There's some exciting stuff on the horizon. Uh, we are building things the best we can uh, to en enable the local community to become stronger. So, so bye-bye standard. Well, <laughs> once, you, once you get stuck into... Um, Commander, it does become a bit harder to, to jump back into uh, lower things, but um, I think Fendercaster isn't uh, isn't really a standard player at all, really. I think uh, this is a, a new to Magic thing. So this has actually been a little bit of um, a little bit of a, a specialty, a uh, little, little, little bit of kismet, I think. Are right, you ready to ready to get stuck in and learn a bit of Magic? It'd be awesome. Um, anyways, before I go, let's just, uh, swing over here and see what we got hiding behind the feather. It is, oh, it's B.O. Bob, little mini B.O. Bob, that's so cool. <sighs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. I'll see you later, guys. Thank you very much.